What's up everybody, welcome to another PC Pilot's Crew video. Thanks a lot for 5,000 subscribers guys. It really, really helps us. The feedback that we're getting recently is just absolutely amazing. And that's why we did this 5,000 subscriber special just for you. As much compressed knowledge as we could pull off. Actually, we might actually make another episode of this. But here you have 100 things every pilot in GTA Online should know. Have fun. The easiest way to enter Fort Zancudo for stealing a laser jet without owning a hangar is to uh, enter it from the north side of the Fort Zancudo tunnel. The Hydra is the only jet with hover mode. The most maneuverable jet is the Pyro. The most maneuverable plane is the Rogue. Bezra has the smallest wingspan of all jets. Mallard has the smallest wingspan of all planes. You can fly in reverse. You can do a hover in any jet. You can control a one wing flight. Turbulent is no wind physics but randomized wiggles. Strength of turbulence is determined by vehicle type and weather. You can drop bombs in reverse flight while you are horizontal. You can dodge homing missiles by flying towards them. Even works on Chernobog missiles. Normal handgun flares can distract homing missiles and also non-homing missiles. Also, they can destroy homing missiles. You can fly through the Meriwether warehouse. You can land planes in reverse. You can take off in reverse with a laser, a Bezra or a sea breeze. There's also a way for the monotalk. Best way to learn flying accurately is to figure out your controller that zone. Easiest way to do formation flying is in first person using the avionic instruments. You can pick up a rhino tank and many other heavy vehicles and objects with the cargo bomb. A good buzzer or annihilator pilot can destroy any type of vehicle. The fastest aircraft in the game is the Hydra using the hover mode speed glitch. You can land aircraft on a Titan or Bambushka, even another Titan. You can bounce up bikes to skyscraper altitude using a Bezra. You can control a no elevator flight till a certain level. You can stand on Hydra in hover mode. You can park a Guardian on a flying Babushka. You can stand on a Guardian which is parked on a flying Babushka. The Duster has enough space to fit a bike or a player through its wings. You can stand on the side of a flying cargo bob. You can destroy tanks using buzzard or annihilator guns. The Dodo can have side gunners. You can bomb people underwater. You can kill opponents in tunnels with homing missiles. One of the most effective dogfight maneuvers is the stall. In a 1v1 dogfight, you do a merge before you start fighting. The Savage and Buzzard co-pilot can shoot missiles. You can shoot out players of their jets with pretty much anything, even a Buzzard. You can shoot the back rotor off from most helicopters. You can shoot the main rotor off on all helicopters. You can land pretty much on any object in the game. You can hit airborne players with missiles and guns. You can perform loops in a reverse flight. You can only rip off your right wing without starting to smoke. You can escape Mark II missiles in the Molotov just by getting into a knife flight at full speed and pulling completely up. You can rip off the tail section of the pyro without getting smoke. 
You can only enter the cargo bay of the Bombushka if the plane has no liveries, jetto, bombs, countermeasures and gun upgrades. You can land some jets vertically. The Volotol is the only aircraft with a bomb capacity of 100. Most planes' helicopters have a bomb capacity of 50. If you fly your Starling with only one wing, you can completely stop the rotation by steering against it. Players can stand inside the back of a cargo bob during flight, even with juggernaut suits. The Volotol does not have a missile lock warning when targeted. The B-11 cannot dodge homing missiles by flying in a circle at low altitudes due to the reduced speed. The Buzzard, Savage and Annihilator all have the lock on targets under their craft. Once a missile passes this lock on target missile tracking will keys. The Starling is the only plane that can only fly with boosts, otherwise it glides. The Starling can dodge any homing missile by flying in circles with boost. You can take off vertically in Molotov by driving backwards on a runway and pitch down. The best way moving cars inside the Bombushka's cargo bay is staying on a handbrake. All planes have two max speeds below 850 feet and above 850 feet, which is the first stripe on the altimeter. There is a speed glitch with the ultralight if you fly at 2000 to 4000 feet, start diving and pitching up with short pulses. Due to the turbulence, ultralight gains a speed boost similar to riding cars on bumps. But from the first person view, you can see that the speedometer is making two full circles. You can fly in a night flight with a stalled or dead engine for a long distance. Can be used on planes that can't glide at all. You can land dead aircraft in front of your hangar if you will be fast enough pressing E or D-pad button. The animation will start and the aircraft will be saved and fixed. Yeah. You can use Titan or Bambushka for delivering crates during solo MC cell missions. One single flare can distract multiple homing missiles. You can only rip your wing off in captures or in free mode with stolen NPC planes. The tail section of the pyro does not count as a wing. You can rip it off in free mode and races without having to jump off your aircraft or killing yourself. What's the best I'm You can turn your Akula upside down in midair. You can't use countermeasures in captures or races. Once you own a hangar in Fort Sankudo, you can enter it without getting stars. If you have a hangar in Fort Sankudo and steal military vehicles, you will only get two stars instead of four. You also won't get shot down by missiles. You cannot use bombs in GTA races. You can only go in reverse flight with the Bombushka if you use the boosters to fly up or by driving off a high building backwards. The B-11 is the only jet without an unlimited amount of missiles. There are two different Valkyries, one without the co-pilot gunner and one with. There are two buzzer variants, one armed, one unarmed. Every aircraft has a limited gun range, without drop-off, the bullets just disappear. The most effective way to take out ground targets in a heli with the guns is to fly in circles. Incendiary bombs have very little effect on anything. Standard bombs are the same as incendiary except the fire. Cluster bombs are the most effective bombs on vehicles because multiple explosions do more damage than one big one. If you turn off the engine on the ultralight, you'll be invisible on the map. Must have special prop for that. The Cuban 800 is able to carry bombs since the Smuggler's Run update. Due to its hover mode, the Hydra can also spawn on helipads. You can even pick up trailers of trucks with a cargo bomb. If you use a jet, 
and one of your elevators gets ripped off, it won't have any damage to the controls. Gas bombs don't do explosive damage. The Howard NX-25 is the fastest airplane on low altitude. You can carry flares on top of your rotor. As an MC president, you can instantly despawn your personal aircraft mid-air right after ejection. You can do unusual maneuvers if you rip off the rudders of the laser. The best jet to fly super slow in reverse is the Pyro. It also has the best backwards acceleration. The B-11 is the only plane with homing missiles and barrage missiles. Also has the biggest variety of fighting tools. Homing missiles, barrage missiles, cannons, bombs and countermeasures. The easiest way to dodge Oppressor Mark II missiles in a jet is flying horizontally at full speed and only use your rudders to fly a curve. That does not count for all jets though. You can repel off some helicopters. While your bomb bay is open, turbulence does not affect you. You can stand in the back of a Guardian whilst being lifted by a cargo bob. MC formation flight mechanics can be used to boost slow planes up to the leader's speed. Can be used to boost Titan with Hydra during cell missions for example. Flying in a formation also repairs your aircraft even if your engines are dead. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope there's a lot of new information for you guys. There's actually some stuff that I didn't know. Thanks a lot to all the crew members who took part in collecting the list that we got for making this video. And um, well, remember to subscribe if you haven't guys and also like and comment it is appreciated. If you have any questions about the stuff from the video, just post it in the comment section below. We'll try to answer it as quickly as possible. See you on the next video. Bye bye.